A Wilcox teen remains in the hospital after a nearly a month after a serious car crash. And for the first time, his family is speaking out exclusively with our News for Tucson team as his long road to recovery continues. Our News for Tucson's Chorus Nylander is live outside Banner University Medical Center with more on his recovery out there. Chorus. Now, Monica, it's a really tragic and sad situation out here. Gibson Stapleton, he's only 17 years old. He's been here at Banner UMC since the beginning of August after being ejected from his vehicle during a rollover crash near Wilcox. That accident happened August 8th as Gibson and a friend were traveling back on to Wilcox from Safford. Gibson lost control of the vehicle, rode over uh, three times and wasn't wearing a seat belt, so was thrown from the vehicle. His mother and father tell me he's lucky to be alive but he suffered a traumatic brain injury, about the worst type of brain injury they say that you can have. They've been leaning on their faith in God and prayers uh, to try and see him uh, heal further. They were initially told by doctors to have low expectations on his abilities to ever breathe on his own, move and respond coherently, but they say he's defied all of those expectations and progressing better than anyone thought he would, but he continues facing complications like an infection that they're treating right now. His parents say they're just proud of his strength and resilience. But he, he has a long, long road of recovery. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do, but you know. But he's alive. You, you take each day. Uh, yeah. Every morning is new. Uh, the mercies of God are new every day. And we're thankful for every step, little progress that he makes. And it's unclear how long he's going to have to stay here at Banner UMC, but his parents tell me they know that when he gets out of the hospital, he's still looking at perhaps more than a year of some intensive rehab outside of the hospital. Uh, of course, a very sad situation here. Our thoughts are with them. We're live from Banner University Medical Center. Chorus Nylander, News 4 Tucson. All right, Chorus, and on that note, the family has set up a GoFundMe page to help with some of those medical costs. So if you are willing and able to help the family, we do have a link to their fundraiser on our website right now at kvoa.com. Well, a man is dead after a five-car crash and pileup.